Hello everybody and welcome back to Age of Empires 2. I am Rufol playing this game for you. Woo! The last time we helped we helped Attila to rise to power as the scourge of God. Now Huns will sh shall commence with their great ride. Now that the memories had stirred, Father Armand seemed eager to tell his tale. He explained how the Huns, like the other barbarians, had a style of warfare dramatically different from the ancient Romans or my own Franks. The Huns would charge as one group, often firing arrows as they came, and then suddenly retreat again. For the nations of Europe, who were used to forming up lines and columns, and even issuing challenges for personal combat, this was an aberration. They were unable to comprehend warfare in this manner. Barbarians did not conquer lands. They did not try and hold and colonize the cities they attacked. Instead, they ravaged and pillaged and took their loot back to their camps. By that time, there were two Roman empires, the government having decided that the Roman lands were simply too vast for one city to manage effectively. Attila and the Huns began a series of raids into the Eastern Empire. Well, it looks like our go-to is going to continue on with these raids. <laughs> Raid the Roman villages! Once you have enough resources to build a forward base, then you can field an army against the Romans. So, each of the small villages, not counting the Roman fort, has a resource. Food, wood, gold, stone, villagers, troops. Your Tarkins will suggest what's what's do in each village to capture a resource. Remember, this is a raid. Get what you can and get out. Destroying some buildings will grant you resources, but it's not necessary to raise every every enemy building. Notice the location of resources. You might need them at a later date. But remember, the Huns are still confined to the Castle Age. Scouts report. Till his Huns invade the Eastern Roman Empire with several cavalry, but no villagers. They expect only token resistance from all the villages. The exception is the Roman army, Blue, which has a fortified base to the east. Do not attempt to invade aid it until you are prepared. The other villages may have food, wood, gold, stone, villagers, or troops that uh, you can use to challenge the Romans. Well, I suppose we'd best get on with challenging the Romans, shall we? Here comes our armies. The Eastern Roman Empire is fielding their army. We must hasten with our raid so that we have enough resources to train our own army. Yes. Alrighty. Speaking of food, quit quit shooting at the farms. I'm just gonna swing over this way. Who's next on the hit list? Aha! I remember this place. They took several of our raiders prisoner before. 
We must rescue our Han brothers held at the castle before they are executed. Man. You too, villager. Once again, please stop attacking the farms. Stuff's food. I could use food. Quick, give. Give their town center the beat down. <laughs> I want you guys to come over here and see if you can hunt down any more of their villagers. Ah, it's not looking like there are more to hunt down. So if you guys come over here... See the castle! Beat up the castle! Because, well, their lack of murder holes shall be their downfall! of Hussars, which, uh, well, ultimately, for me at this point, they're just some crappy Tarkins. <laughs> Fancifully enough, even the Tarkins that were, uh, that were rescuing, they aren't going to be as, as useful as the ones we started with. Either way, Clearly, we are done here. Hey, stupid, get over there! I hate the unit pathing in this game. Thank you. 
thing we want to make sure is that uh, we don't go after any of the enemy villagers. After all... Hey! Once we beat down the houses, then, uh... Locals speak of wild Scythian that dwells somewhere nearby. We should be cautious. Back to burning down houses. Now these peasants will do our bidding. Let us find a suitable location to establish our camp. Pick off the peasants who aren't going to be doing our bidding. Atihi. Put you guys as group three. Continue the beat down of the buildings. There we go. So force the resignation. Just tell these guys to go off somewhere into the darkness and, uh, well, keep an eye on them. Monks! of their unit producing structures and they generally tend to resign. Funny that. So it doesn't change that we still have to destroy the uh, camps in order to get their money. Here us, Tarkins. Roman gold. There is no other metal that shines as sweetly. All right. And, uh, well, we're going to need some wood before we can build up our town center. Rip it down. We feel like I'm missing something, but I guess we'll have to sort that out later. Yeah, you guys. Yeah. 
computer's trying to be sneaky. Be advisable. The town of Nices produces the best lumber in the region. Let us take all we can by destroying these lumber camps. Yes. Peasants! Let the beatings begin! Come for you! Be raided! Center then. Leave you guys to beat and get things to beat down. Stand the Roman attack and then go on the offensive. Indeed. Join an army to defeat the Romans. And, well, this is going to be our place for doing that. To drop off that money. And set me up a mining camp up here. Some additional miners up there. Yeah, drop off your gold. I'll just come over here and build a mill. come down here and uh, just play for a while. <laughs> because, well, as you can see, this, so this over here forms for my choke point, which makes, for, which makes it a great place to build a castle. But that's going to need some stone. Naturally.
What are you doing? Get to work. Gathering. Dead bodies are kind of ominous. You are most foolish to trespass here. If you bring us six of your villagers, we will make it worth your while. Hmm. Well then. But since they'll give us assistance, are we really foolish to trespass? Hard to say. Alright, you what? Drop off your rocks. And build me that castle. guys wander over there and continue to uh, beat things up. Take you three. Actually, you two. Me a wonder camp. Why don't you guys go over there? Excellent. I'll hold off the Romans. Someday we'll find out whatever what, what they've done for us. Not enough, that's for sure. <laughs> I want you to build me a blacksmith. Drop off your monies. Gotta cut them in time. You three will be group four. Yeah, we'll have you come and do some hunting.
We should probably consider actually scouting things. <laughs> Not so much with these guys. I'll set you to no attack so that you'll only uh, attack when I tell you to. I need more food. Here comes more food. Still need more food. Here it comes. These guys will uh, clear buildings away from the fields and Ideally, we'll set about making use of these farms before we start planting our own. Wood and gold, yeah, we want that. <laughs> yes, because I've left these, de these deer, the Romans are gonna send and villagers out to uh, die at this castle. Keep an eye on these hunters, or they'll start, uh, killing indiscriminately. Yeah, like that. Hmm. I want them to respect the animals by actually, by, uh, not letting so much of the carcass go to waste. that does thankfully become easier as the amount of deer, deer involved uh, as the herd thins. Up here, these guys had these guys had a fort that's got a bunch of archers and and a uh, mangonel inside. But uh, thankfully, we can just completely ignore it. Okay. 
keep this around in case I decide to do some trading. Not particularly inclined to think that I will because there's a uh, quite a fair amount of gold about the map. Take that, punk! Alright. Well. I'm thinking this will do for now, and next time we'll really build up the, uh, the military and, uh, take the Roman fort with too few soldiers, we will surely die. And take it to the Romans. We'll see you then. Later.